guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's sequence is a warm-up flow for runners. You won't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, join me in a seated position in the centre of your mat. We're going to start today's sequence with some hip openers just to get the hip joints nice and loose. So we're going to start with rock the baby. So I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to take the sole of my left foot and place it in the elbow crease of my right arm and then I'm going to wrap my left arm around the leg, cradling the leg like a baby and just rocking the hip open and closed. If this isn't possible, feel free to just take a hold of the foot wherever you're at and do the same that way. So we're going to go for about 10 rocks on each side. Think about lengthening through the spine, keeping the chest nice and lifted and bringing that chest in toward that shin. So I'm probably over halfway now, so I'm going to go for four more rocks, two, three, four, and then switch sides. So place the right leg, sorry, the left leg down, right leg, right sole of the foot comes into the left elbow crease, wrap the right arm around the knee, link the fingers if you can, or just hold, take a hold of that foot. Inhale to lift the, lift and lengthen through the spine and bring that chest in towards that shin and just gently rock that hip joint open and closed, mobilizing the hip joint. And I reckon I'm over halfway now. So I'm just gonna go for four more. Three, two, one, and then release that foot back down. I'm going to place the soles of the feet together now as we come into bound ankle pose. So soles of the feet together, heels towards the groin area. So shuffle your seating, um, your seated position forwards. Take a hold of your feet with the thumbs on the insides as if you're holding a book. So thumbs on the insides of your feet, the arches of your feet, hands, fingers wrap around the top of your foot. Use your elbows then as you let your knees drop out to the side, use your elbows against your inner calf muscles or knees and then reach forwards with your nose towards your toes and we're just going to pulse five or ten times towards those toes opening up the insides of the hips. So reaching forwards, everything's very dynamic as this is a warm up so don't hold anything for too long. Eight, nine, ten and then just gently release the feet and bring the knees back together. And then just gently relax the hands. We're going to take the left leg out long now. The sole of the right foot is going to go onto the inside of the left thigh. We're coming into half head to knee pose, so we're just going to gently flex the toes back towards us. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale to fold over that leg. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, fold deeper, and then inhale to lift. Reaching up and back with the right hand, placing it on the floor behind the right bum cheek, and then inhale to lift and reach. Take a back bend if you want to, open up that front body, and then exhale as you come back down to seated and switch sides. So, left sole of the foot comes into the right inner thigh, right leg goes out long, flex the toes back towards you, square the body off. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale, half head to knee pose on the right side this time. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold deeper, and then inhale as you lift and reach with your left hand up and over, back behind you on the floor, and then inhale to lift and reach with your right hand up towards the ceiling as you take that back bend again. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, come all the way down to the floor with your bum, and then undo your legs. So both legs are out wide now. We're in a straddle position, toes flex back towards you, and we're simply just going to reach up as we inhale, finding length, exhale to reach over to the side, inhale back to centre, switching over the arms, exhale, reach over to the other side. So we're going to do five each side of these. Always reaching up, finding that length before we exhale and find that side stretch. So that's three, two more on each side. One more each side. And then come back to centre, bring the knees in together and just shake off those hips a little bit. We're gonna swivel round now as we come onto our fronts. We're gonna come into a prone position, forehead to the floor, 
Arms out, stretch. We're going to lift into locust, but we're going to do legs only. So keeping the hands on the floor. Inhale to lift your thighs, keeping the feet together off the floor. Hold for three, two, one. Use those glutes to squeeze the legs and lift them high. And then exhale to lower. We're going to do four more lifts. So inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, see if you can keep the toes touching. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, exhale to lower, one more, inhale to lift, exhale to lower and relax. From here we're going to take ourselves up into down facing dog position. So tuck the toes, press into the floor with the hands, push back to down facing dog and find that nice upside down V shape on your mat. Take a moment there to just pedal out the legs. Open up the calves, the hamstrings, the hips, the ankles, the feet. And then if you want to, just take a moment with the feet still and pulse through the shoulders, pushing the crown of the head towards the floor, opening up the thoracic spine and the chest as well. On the next inhale, take the left leg up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee and just let the leg travel over towards the right, finding that stretch in the hip as you twist through the lower body, keeping the shoulders nice and square to the mat still. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale to lift back up and then swing the leg through, plant it outside of the left hand as we come into our lizard pose. So take the eye gaze forwards, reach forwards with the chest, roll those shoulders back and down and then we're going to inhale as we lift and twist with our left hand up towards the sky. Exhale as we bring the elbow to the floor. See if you can tap the floor with the elbow. And then inhale to lift and twist again. You're going to do five elbow taps in total. Three, four, five. And then this time you're going to plant the hand back down. As you exhale, plant the back foot at a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to inhale to straighten that front leg. We're going to come into triangle pose. So try and think about keeping that length in the body. If you need to, you can plant the hand on the shin or find a block if you have one. And then inhale as we lift and twist with our right hand up towards the ceiling, finding that stretch on the inner thigh and across the chest and the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hand to the floor, frame that foot again, find your lunge position. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, step back to down facing dog and we'll repeat on the other side. So inhale to lift the right leg up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, find that hip twist, keeping those shoulders square to the mat, and then as you exhale, sorry, inhale to lift back to centre, swing the foot outside of the right hand, find that lizard lunge position, so reach forwards with the chest, find length in the spine, eye gaze forwards, and then inhale to lift with your right hand this time up towards the ceiling, Exhale as you tap that right elbow to the floor for one. Inhale to lift. Exhale, tap for two. Three. Four. Five. And then this time plant the hand down as you exhale firmly inside that right foot. Straighten that front leg, back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle and we're coming into triangle pose on the other side. So inhale to lift and reach with your right left hand, sorry, up towards the ceiling, finding triangle pose. Hold for three, two, one, exhale, release. Shuffle the foot inside of that right hand, find your lunge position as you reach the heart forwards, finding that stretch in the hip flexor. And as you exhale, step the legs together, come into your standing forward fold. We're going to inhale to find length, exhale to fold deeper. We're going to do that four more times, inhaling to find length, exhaling to fold deeper, inhaling, finding more length, exhaling, folding deeper again. Two more times to go. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale. This time as we inhale, we're going to send the arms back and come up into aeroplane pose. So straighten the legs, send the hips back, reach forward to the chest, be nice and strong through the arms, reach through the fingertips, active through the hands. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, hold for three, two, one, and then inhale as you circle the arms up, extended to dasana. Exhale, sit back into chair, hold for three, 
two, one, inhale to lift, exhale, release the hands to the back of your hips, plant them on that kind of fleshy bit of your, the top of your bum or your hips, roll the shoulders back and down, we're going to come into standing camel to finish, as we inhale, lift through the chest, imagine someone's drawing you up with a piece of string from your heart, look up towards the ceiling and then start to take your eye gaze all the way back, as you shoot the hips forwards, lifting through that chest, and coming into your standing camel. Hold for three, for two, for one, and then inhale as you come all the way back up. Release the hands, inhale to lift, find that extended chestna, exhale, release the arms, shake it all out, and you should be feeling nice and loose and limber and ready to start your run. Catch you later.